Hi right, guys, this is a video on how to play um, Can't Stop by Rhapsody. So, by the way, I'm going to quickly go through each part now so you can hear how I'm playing it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> So that's pretty much the three different parts apart from the solo. Um, you got the verse or the well, for the intro, the uh, the verse, chorus, bridge, and then you got the solo as well. So I'm gonna get get started. So it starts off really simple. I mean, when they play it live, usually nicely jam it out. But just for the uh, for the intro, it's just from the fifth to the seventh on the A string. That's the intro, that's literally what it is, fifth of the seventh. Um, so that's pretty easy. I'm gonna go straight onto the. Uh... So it's pretty easy, it's all based around the chords. You're literally just picking out a riff on that, that's what he does with pretty much all of his songs, like Snow. And all the others, he just kind of picks out notes from the riff. So, so we're going to be hitting. You really want to get that funky, kind of crunchy, trebly tone that uh, John gets. So you're hitting the um, seventh on the uh, D, uh, A string, and then you're going from the seventh to the ninth on the G, G string. basically do that pattern for each root note. So one, and then three. And then three more after that, so. Then you do the exact same pattern, except you're hitting the, um, the D, the open D. So the open D again. Then the seventh on the E string. And then you sit, hit the um, eighth on the E string. So, very easy. as the chords are there, it's just an a, a, a G. So a G to a D, to a B minor, to a C. So if you want to play it open, it would be in. You can't really play a B minor open, so... And the last time he pushes the uh, last chord, so that's really easy. And the uh, 
going onto the um, the bridge, which is. <laughs> Picking a, the picking style is like this. So you're always picking up, apart from when you hit the root note. And then he goes on to, uh, I'm not exactly sure how he plays, he has a couple of guitars on. Doing like weird. He has the uh, other guitar come on, which has got a lot of effects on it. Um, but he also, when he plays it live, um, stuff there which is just some pull-ons and stuff that he plays um, so that's pretty much it apart from the solo which I'll, uh, I'll show you now a really easy solo um, when he plays it on the uh, album it sounds like he's just got a really you know a really powerful valve amp clean but being really driven powerfully so it's like he's got distortion but he doesn't so unless you're playing with a really powerful kind of clean sound which you can really boost um, it's easier just to go for a distorted <laughs> So yeah, it's really easy. I mean, a lot of a uh, you know you want to get a lot of reverb on that, really make it echo and a lot of power behind it. So um, you're in the uh, E minor. This first bit you're just bending on the uh, 14th fret all the way up to the, uh, sorry, the 15th all the way up to the 17th. So you bend it up, bend it again and then take it back down. I think maybe he sometimes bends up to the second reverse. That's what he usually plays. Um, so you, the second, you, so we go down to the twelfth, and then down to the twelfth on the G, and then the second time he does, it, he bends the the fifteenth. And then holding it up there, bends the uh, fifth, uh, 17th. And all the way down to the 12th, and then does the 15th. And then uh, the seven, fi 15th on the B. So. So yeah, it's a pretty easy solo. Um, if you get it, get a nice good tone on it, really put some power behind it. Um, pretty sure that's it for the whole song. I don't think there are any other parts. Hopefully this was nice and clear. Um, so yeah, thanks.